Well, oyster reefs provide a lot of really important services to people, um, besides the fact that they provide food resource, which most people like to eat oysters. Um, they also provide very um, important fish habitat, so for sport fish, also for crabs and other types of organisms. They also are very important in terms of filtering pollutants and nutrients and harmful algae out of the water column as well, and giving us really nice clean water to, to swim in and to have recreational activities. So oyster reefs have been degraded from a variety of reasons. So from um, water quality degradation or from destructive fishing practices. And the oyster shell substrate is very important. These bays are like big muddy bathtubs. And without that hard substrate available, what happens is little baby oysters are floating around in the water column without a shell. They go. Are you ready? Go! <laughs> So basically we've been reclaiming oyster shells from Coastal Bend restaurants like Nico Steakhouse and Water Street restaurants and we're using those shells to rebuild degraded reef in St. Charles Bay. Last July we built a four acre reef in Copano Bay using barges and using um, sort of construction technologies but this is the first time that we've had a community oyster building event like this that's right next to the, the shore. It's, an, it's a learning experience for all of us and it really I think is a great way to kind of close the loop you know we learn we, we eat oysters, we see the shells coming out of the water. We, we maybe understand through a lesson that if you put shells in the water you can rebuild a reef, but to come out here and really participate in rebuilding a reef just makes all the difference.